Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today is the final video of my decluttering series. If you haven't been watching, I'm going to be linking all of my other decluttering ones below. So I have things like my closet, my all of my beauty products, my dresser, that sort of thing. So today we are finally finishing. I'm going to be tackling my hat cabinet as well as the ottoman at the very end of my bed and also the night table. So we have a lot to get through and I really don't want this video to drag out for like forever. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So like I said, we're going to be tackling this... Um, hat cabinet so up here i have these two boxes and then the, these kind of like decorative pieces at the top so i have one of my little ladies that looks like this super cool um then i have this little bust which matches one of the ones that are inside my closet and then up here i have this really ugly styrofoam head um it's really nice for like shaping hats but i would like to get like a vintage bust like this so that I can actually have it up on display but for now it's just holding this um, blue hat on it and then I have this small box up here that I thrifted um, and this one has masks like do you guys remember at the very beginning of the pandemic when everyone was like get fabric masks save the environment and I literally bought so many of them and none of us ended up using any and we ended up using the reusable ones anyway so I don't know should I keep them should I get rid of them I feel like what if we go through another pandemic and I need them I have no idea let me know what you guys think um, and then in the second one I have, what is in here? Oh, I think I have like little shawl things. I brought you guys down so you guys could actually see. So I have little pieces like this that you would put on like the back of like an outfit. I wore this for the Gatsby garden party. It worked really well with that dress that has like the fringe on it. It looked really, really cute. So I have this one. This one I'm keeping obviously. And then I have this one that I got in Spain. So keeping that. Then I have this one that I got when I first started thrifting. And I'm wondering if I'm going to use it. Like it's really pretty and I feel like it would look really nice on display. I've never used it. Like I've had it for a while and I've just never used it. So like this would go like this. Realistically, I probably won't use this. I'm kind of thinking if I could have it up on display for something, but like realistically, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm going to get rid of this. And then the last one that is in here is this green one, which again, I don't think I'm gonna use. If I feel like if I was gonna use one, it's gonna be the other one. And this one, I don't think I'm actually going to use it. It's a really, really pretty color though. See, I got these because I was like, oh, these would look so nice on like display somewhere. Do you know what I mean? They're so pretty, like I love the colors, but realistically, I'm not gonna use it. So what is the point of having it if I'm not gonna use it? I'm decluttering, so goodbye. Moving on to some more fun bits. So this, I have some hats that I wear constantly. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of any, but I'll just show you guys some of the hats that I have just for fun. Um, so I have this one, really, really pretty. It's black, it's like a little saucer hat and it has this like super long, I don't know if you guys can see that. You can kind of see it better there. It's got like this really long feather. It looks really pretty. You guys can't see me, there we go. Like how cute is that? So there's this one. Um, I also have this little half hat. I love this color. And this one's like really nice because it just kind of goes on like the back of my head like that. You can see it there. It's really, really pretty. I also have another half hat that looks like this. This one's blue. Kind of goes like that. It's really, really pretty. Um, I also have this kind of a mustard colored one with a little bit of fur on it. This one's really cute too. It just kind of sits like that. Really, really cute. I have this one that has all this feathers on it. It's really fun. Like It's like a 1950s hat and I haven't really had a chance to wear it because I don't have the right outfit for it yet, but I'm sure I'll be able to wear it soon. Yeah, I'm not really getting rid of anything from here. Okay, let's close this one up. And let's move on to the next section, which is what I like to call my desk, even though I don't actually use it as a desk. Um, but it looks like this. It's really, really cool. Um, I have some letters in here. I don't know if it's worth going through all of this, because I feel like I actually use the stuff that's in here. Um, like I have this box. I don't know if the lighting's gonna let you see it. There we go. Um, and here I have little, I don't know, just like random bits. Like I have these little papers that look like this. I got, it came in like an Etsy package. There's like a couple of these. They're so cute. So I keep those in here. And then I also have like um, the things that I use for like my Christmas 
um, presents, like the tags. I have this really cool sharpener. It's like a little car. I have my old like journal, my old diary. It's like full <laughs> with all the stuff that I stuck on it. Oh, I have this amazing antique little sand clock thing. It is so cool. It just twists and then it falls. Oh. I also have this that I got at the Aberfoyle Antique Market and it's really cool. It's to put like little pins in it's from the 1920s. I really haven't found a spot, a spot for it yet, but yeah, so I have that. I also have this like 1920s little bag that I have to sew. Looks like this. I have it in this bag so I don't lose any beads, but I have to like fix up a couple of pieces on it. Oh, I have my car that looks like this. It kind of looks very similar to the to the sharpener. Um, it's actually a piggy bank, and every single time that a toonie, which is a $2 coin, comes across or goes through my hands, I put it here. So I have tons of toonies in here. Um, so there's that. Um, I also have some blank cards. I have thank you cards. I have some pencils. Um, I also have this really beautiful jewelry box here in the center. Love that. It just looks so nice here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not really getting rid of anything in here, so I just wanted to show you. So in this next drawer, I just have all of my scarves, like my silk scarves, um, like smaller ones. So I'm just going to empty it all out and then we will go through them. bunch of silk scarves. I'm gonna do this at the very end. Um, I like to sort them for like fall, winter, and then spring, summer. So I have this one that's just like a bright red. I always tell myself that I'm gonna wear it and I'm gonna use it, but I never do. I think it's just really warm. This one I'm a little bit torn about. I don't know. I'm gonna put this one up here. I have this one that's like a cream color with red flowers. And I thought this would be really nice for like Christmas time just because it kind of reminds me of poinsettias even though they're not. <laughs> Looks like this. And then this I can tie back here. This one is really pretty. Um, and then I have like basically the exact same one in like this pink color. I just love this shade. I think it's really, really nice. Like. This. Like I feel like this with like a navy coat or something would look really pretty, but I don't think I've ever worn it. I might have gotten this like before the pandemic and I've never worn it, so I feel like maybe I should get rid of that. Okay, so this one 100% I'm keeping because this one is one of my absolute favorites. I love these colors. This one I also really like. The colors are really, really pretty. I don't really wear it if I'm being honest, but I do really like it. Do I want to keep this one? Now I'm like doubting myself because I haven't really been wearing them. I feel like I always wear the same ones like over and over again. Okay, this one I'm keeping. This one, it's like a Ralph Lauren one and I really, really like this one. Um, this one I use all the time and not like for like as an actual scarf, but I actually use this to wrap my phone. So if it's like too cold, I'll like wrap it in this so that it keeps it warmer because the cold like drains my phone battery. I also use this to wrap my phone if I'm biking because my basket on my bike is like a wicker basket. So I don't want it to scratch my phone. So I wrap it in this. This one I got recently, you guys saw, you guys already saw this in a haul recently. Love this, so keeping this obviously. This one which is the same as the white and red and then the pink one that I showed you guys. So there's this one that's red. Really, really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna keep the red because it is really, really nice. Okay, this one I'll keep. And then I also have this red one, which is like a really, really big one. Don't really wear it though. So I think I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. And then I also have this one that has pheasants on it and I love pheasants. So this one I'm gonna be keeping. And then I also have this red one that has blue. I, think I do wear this one only because I like the size, but I don't love this blue tone. This one surprisingly is actually one of my most worn ones. It's like a brown one and it has um, mustard and colors. It's like a brick color. I wear this all the time only because it matches like everything. I have this one that is a green and it has a brown. Am I going to wear it though? I don't think so. This one again, it's one of those scarves that just matches everything. Every time that I'm wearing an outfit and I'm like, I don't know what scarf to grab. I grab this one because it matches every single outfit. So this one I'm keeping. This green one again, it's one of my most worn ones because it just again matches everything. I'm also going to be keeping this blue one because I do actually wear this one a lot. Looks like this. This is a light blue one. I feel like this one I wear more in like the spring just because of the colors, but it is really, really pretty. I have this brown one that I love and I actually do wear it a lot. It's really nice, like a dark brown with some red roses and like some caramel kind of colored accents. This one is really, really pretty. However, I never wear it, but like look at how pretty it is. 
It's so nice. I don't know what to do. I feel like I should keep it because it's so pretty. But at the same time, like, I don't wear it. But the colors are just so nice. I don't know if they're coming across there. Like, look at how pretty these colors are. I'm not gonna wear it. I haven't worn it. I'm getting rid of it. I have this one that I actually do wear. It's really pretty. It's black and it has these pink flowers on it. I don't usually like to wear too much black, but this one actually looks really nice if I am wearing black because I feel like it is the only, like, silk scarf that I have or, like, this kind of scarf that I have that has black in it. And I have this one that's a blue with some pink flowers on it. It's really pretty. And I haven't had a chance to wear it, but it is really nice. This one I'm going to be keeping. This is really, really pretty. Like, the colors are really nice, but I don't know if it's, like, the colors that I would really wear. Okay, this one I'm getting rid of. And then I have these three silk scarves, and I don't know what to do about them because I have this one. It's a Coach one, and I think it's so pretty. And Coach doesn't really come out with a lot of silk scarves like this anymore, and the colors are really nice, but I don't wear it. But I think I do want to keep it because I think it's really pretty. This one kind of reminds me of, like, Versace. Do you know what I mean? because of the gold and the blue and the black. I don't wear it that much. I feel like this one was my go-to before because it just matched a lot of things, but now I have other ones that I feel like match myself better. So I think I might get rid of this one, actually. I don't wear them, there's no point. Okay, then I have this little quilted box and on the inside I have some more sheer scars. Um, so this one I got recently, so I haven't even had a chance to wear it yet. It's white and it has like a little blue trim on it. It's really, really pretty. Then I have this one that's like a sheer plum color. You guys can't really see how sheer it is, but it's like one of these super sheer ones. That's all that's on the inside of this box. And this one actually matches a velvet dress that I ordered on Etsy. Um, and the seller actually threw this in in the package. And I actually used it as like a little hair bow when I wore it. So it looked really cute. Then I have one in like a brown kind of shade. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's really, really pretty. When I see it, like, in the box, I really like it. This, like, bright blue color. And I got this when I was more into, like, 1960s, 1950s stuff. So, like, I feel like these kind of colors are very popular, especially in the 1950s. Um, but I don't really wear it. I feel like this light blue color does not look <laughs> very nice on me. I don't know. I don't wear it, though, so I think I am going to be getting rid of this one. This is a light pink, and again, I don't really wear it and i also have another light pink one here so do i need both i feel like it doesn't really take up that much room so i guess i could keep them but i feel like i used to be way more into this kind of thing before i feel like pink is kind of like a classic though do you know what i mean okay i'm gonna be keeping the pink ones um then i have a just a classic white one this one is a true vintage one however i do have a white one from amazon that i ordered which sucks like the material is not even anywhere near the quality so i'm going to be getting rid of the amazon one then i have this green shade really really nice i have a blue shade not my absolute favorite but it's okay oh this one can go this bright pink i feel like i'm never gonna wear this like super bright pink color i would wear the light pink one first yeah this pink color does not look very nice on me so this one's gotta go this yellow i don't know would i wear this yellow i never wear yellow i don't even know what i would pair this with can you guys even see me wearing yellow ever i know in my last video i was wearing yellow but that's like a baby yellow it's not like a bright yellow like this we made some really great progress i would say it's the kind of progress i wanted to see myself make you know <laughs> In this first nightstand, I have some fur pieces. So I have this gorgeous fur hat. It's like a kind of like a beret almost, but it's fur and it has the little animal feet on it. It's really, really cute. And then I have this one that I got at the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show. And it does have a little face on it, but it's like a fake face. Like it's not an actual animal face. It's, it looks like a little, almost like a little like cartoon almost, if that makes sense. Really, really cute and soft. And I have this really big fur hat. I don't really wear it very often. It's a little tight on my head if I'm being honest. I don't want to switch my hair but it's a little tight on my head so I don't know how often I'm gonna wear it. It's so nice though. The times that I have worn it, it did give me a headache so I want to keep it because it's so beautiful and I love it but if I'm not gonna use it, I don't know if I should keep it. I'm gonna put this in the pile. Um, and then I have this fur stole. I recently wore this when I was in um, Niagara on the Lake at Christmas time. It's really beautiful. So this I'm keeping, obviously. Um, and then here I have another fur piece like this. It has like the little vintage label back there. And it looks like this. It's very similar to the one that you guys just saw. Except, like, not really. I think it's a little bit different. The colors are a bit different. This one's a little bit more yellowy. Sorry, you guys can't even see me. It looks like this. It's so pretty. And then this one has more 
uh, gray in it, so it's a little bit different, but they're both beautiful. Back here, I have this faux fur muff, and honestly, I don't wear it just because, I don't know, I don't love the faux fur on it. So I don't know if I should get rid of it. Oh my God, it even has a zipper. I'd never noticed a zipper before. I think I am going to get rid of this. It also has like this super long strap so it's easier to carry around. I remember using this in a blog post and it was my favorite blog post for the longest time. But honestly, I don't think I'm actually going to use it. So I am gonna be getting rid of this. Down here, I have my earmuffs and I feel like I used to wear earmuffs a lot back when I would go on location to shoot. like a few years ago, like pre-pandemic. So I have four earmuffs. These ones are my most worn ones because they're huge. I don't really wear them very much anymore. Sorry, I'm yelling because this like blocks out every single sound, but they are pretty convenient. So maybe I'll keep like one or two. This one was the first <laughs> pair of earmuffs that I got and they are a little bit cuter because they do look a little bit smaller, but they are kind of wonky, I'm not gonna lie. So I am gonna be getting rid of this. This white pair, realistically, I'm not gonna wear them. I have not worn these in a really long time. And I would use those like knit little bonnet things that I have over this one. So I'm gonna be getting rid of that. And then should I keep this black pair as well, just in case? I don't really wear them, but I feel bad getting rid of them, especially this one because it's so warm. And then back here, I also have a fur little white muff. This one is vintage and I think it's so cute. This one, I am gonna hang on to it even though it's kind of similar to that uh, black one that I just got rid of, but this one is like real fur and it is vintage, so. Yeah, it's really cute. Um, and I feel like I don't really see them in this kind of color very much, so very often. So this one I'm gonna be keeping. I feel like that freed up like so much space. Look at that, look at all the room I just made in there. That's amazing. I did just get like a new fur piece. Um, in my last video, if you didn't watch that, I went to St. Jacob's and I did get a new fur piece. So I'll probably put that in here. Okay. I forgot to show you, but beside the hat cabinet, I have this green 1960s like shoe bag. I think it is what it is. It kind of looks like an avocado. Um, and in here, I actually have my belt, or at least the belts that don't have a matching dress or anything. I feel like I have those somewhere else. Um, but in here, I have just like regular belts. I'm gonna go through them because I feel like I never wear belts. Looks like this on the inside. I don't have too many. This belt I actually wear all the time. I recently got and I wore it so many times this past summer. So this one I'm keeping for sure. This one is very similar. So I feel like I will get some use out of this one. This one's more of a white color and this one's a little bit more oatmeal. Um, I have this black belt that has this little sparkly buckle. I think I am going to be getting rid of this one because it's kind of falling apart and I don't really wear it very often. So this one, goodbye. This is a black little skinny one. It's like a fabric one and I love this one. I got this at the Ian Drummond studio in one of their sales. So keeping that. I have this small little brown one that I never wear, um, but I feel like it could be kind of cute for like a more casual 1940s look. So I'm going to be keeping this one. Um, I have this plastic red one when I was like really into like 1960s stuff, but sorry, you guys can't see the buckle. It's like really, really big. So I am gonna be getting rid of this. And then I have a very similar one in blue that I don't think I'm gonna be wearing. So I think I'm also going to be getting rid of this. Then I have a white one that's like really, really thick. I use this for like more 1960s, 1950s kind of looks, but it is kind of falling apart a little bit. So I think I am actually going to be getting rid of this as well. And then this one, I thrifted this for like a dollar and I'm pretty sure it's from like a costume shop because it's just not the best quality. Again, this is when I was getting into like 1960s stuff like a few years ago and it just kind of worked for that, but I don't wear it and I haven't grabbed it in years. So goodbye. So I am keeping three belts. I am on the lookout for some other belts for the summer, but I'm not in like a huge rush to get any. Okay, this is a bit of a tight corner for me to be filming in. I don't know if you guys can see me properly. Um, but in this night table, I have all of like my DVDs that I watch the most often. I do have a TV just across from my bed and it's, I mainly use it for DVDs. So I kind of keep them on when I'm like editing or something so that I can watch a movie. Um, and I do have a bunch of other movies that have to actually go in there. They're just kind of in a pile outside here, like a massive pile. Um, so I do wanna go through this. I know somebody in my last comment mentioned that they wanted to see like a movie collection, but I honestly have way too many DVDs in here. So I'll kind of show you some as we kind of go along. Oh, and here I have this little, little box. I have some like 1960s earrings that to be honest, I'm probably not going to use. Ones that look like this and even ones that look like this too. 
I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not gonna use them, so this has got to go. So I have this pile of cartoons and these ones go right here. So I'm gonna very quickly go through this. So get ready. The Aristocats, Oliver and Company, Hercules, Unfuck Notre Dame, Tarzan, Anastasia, The Goofy Movie, Swan Princess, and Mulan. I used to have Snow White and I don't know where that went, so I really need to go find that. These ones are gonna go right here. So I'm gonna include there, I'm gonna put a little princess and secret garden on top of there because these are more like quote unquote kid movies. I can put Free Willy with the kids movies. I used to love Free Willy when I was little. I love Orca, it's my favorite animal. So Free Willy was like one of my favorite movies. So I'm gonna put that with the kid movies too. Okay, so I emptied out the entire nightstand because I feel like it would just be a little bit easier. Let me sit down properly. Okay, and then I organize all the DVDs into piles depending on what decade they're from. So I'm gonna very quickly go through them. I know not everybody cares about movies, so I'll try to do this really quickly. Um, starting with the oldest one that I have. So this is from the 1920s. It's the only one that from the 20s that I have and it's the Buster Keaton collection and it has six different movies, including my favorite, Steamboat Bill Jr., which is my absolute favorite. You can actually see it on YouTube. So good. Okay, moving on to 1930s movies. I don't have too many. Um, so I have The Wizard of Oz, Varsity Show, The Devil to Pay. This is so good. I love this movie. Um, I have The Thin Man Collection, Gone with the Wind. I have The Lady Vanishes, also a really good movie. I have Fashions of 1934 and It Happened One Night. 1940s movies. I have a little bit more, but it's not a huge pile. So this one is a four movie collectible classics film collection, I guess, that has The Bandwagon, Meet Me in St. Louis, Singing in the Rain, and Easter Parade. Um, I have another one of those collections, and this one has My Favorite Wife, Instant Love, Women of the Year, and Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Then I have Gilda, I have The Big Sleep, The Have and The Have Not, Leave Her to Heaven, Waterloo Bridge, one of my favorites, so good. Rings on Her Fingers, Thunderbirds, Casablanca, and another Gilda. What do I have too? Okay, moving on to 1950s. It's not the biggest pile, um, but I have High Society, The Sissy Collection, which is actually pretty hard to find, so I have that. All About Eve, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Oh my god, I'm getting so tongue-tied. To Catch a Thief, Sunset Boulevard, my all-time favorite movie, Singing in the Rain, Rebel Without a Cause, and How to Marry a Millionaire. Moving on to 1960s movies. Whew. Where the Boys Are, Umbrellas of Sherberg, Barefoot in the Park, The Beatles, Hard Day's Night, Blow Up, um, Elvis Presley collection that has GI Blues, Blue Hawaii, Girls, 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 Fun in Acapulco, and Roast About. Then I have another Elvis collection movie that has Kissing Cousins, Live a Little, Love a Little, Girl Happy, and Tickle Me. I have a Rear Window. I have a Doris Day collection that has Pillow Talk, Lover Come Back, Send Me No Flowers, The Thrill of It All, Midnight Lace, and The Man Who Knew Too Much and The Sound of Music, of course, a classic. Then I also have three 1970s movies, which is Grease, obviously, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and Love Story. 1980s movies, 16 Candles, The Breakfast Club, Blue Lagoon, Risky Business, The Outsiders, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, E.T., Somewhere in Time, Can't Buy Me Love, and Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. 90s movies, I have Titanic, obviously, one of my favorites, 10 Things I Hate About You, Drive Me Crazy, and Clueless. And I feel like my biggest pile is modern movies. Some of them are like time pieces, but I did put this into a pile of anything that was made after the 2000s. So I'm gonna quickly go through this because this is the biggest pile. So I have Brooklyn, Almost Famous, A Walk to Remember, Down with Love, Across the Universe, Atonement, That Thing You Do, Great Gatsby, Changeling, The Lizzie McGuire Movie, The Notebook, Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day, Marie Antoinette, Coco Avant Chanel, or Coco Before Chanel, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Grand Budapest Hotel. So those are all of those ones. And then I have a tiny pile of just Audrey Hepburn movies. So I have My Fair Lady, A Breakfast at Tiffany's, Sabrina, Roman Holiday, In Paris When It Sizzles, Charade, and Funny Face. And I do have two Blu-ray DVDs. I don't know why I have these in Blu-ray, but I have It's a Wonderful Life and About Time. Okay, so those are all of my DVD, like movie DVDs. I do have TV shows, so I have the entire 
Gossip Girl series. I also have the entire Everwood series, which is my all-time favorite show. If you've never seen it, it is so good. Honestly, I've watched this a few times and it is my absolute favorite TV show, so. And then I also have the entire The OC series. And that is every single thing that is in this cabinet. Now I have to fit it all back in here. I did get rid of a couple of doubles that I had, um, but I'm pretty much keeping everything else, so yeah. <laughs> I just got like a huge wave of feeling so tired. I don't know why, I just like, I could honestly fall asleep right now. But the only thing that I have to declutter that I have left is this ottoman at the very end of my bed. So I figured I would very quickly go through it and then I am going to have some coffee. So this is all of my winter accessories. So this is all of my, my hats, my scarves, that sort of thing. These are all berets and do you guys see how excessive this is? No one needs this many berets, okay? So I'm gonna go through them and be very objective. Is that even the right word? I'm gonna be ruthless in what I'm getting rid of. So these ones are actually fairly new and I do plan on wearing these. So these, this one stays, this one also stays. This one is a summer one that I recently got when I was in Nang on the Lake, so that stays. I have two green ones and I feel like I never wear one of them, so let me put those aside. I have this one that has a pom-pom, which is so cute. I have a chocolate brown, which I feel like is kind of like a basic. I have this burnt orange one that I rarely wear, but I recently got a like uh, trench coat that has buttons that are this exact color, so I feel like it looks really nice when it's together, so I'm keeping that. Um, I have this one that has this kind of flower detailing on it and I never really wear it so maybe I should try this one on. This gray, I feel like gray is kind of like a classic but at the same time I never wear it and I don't really like gray on me so I think I am going to be getting rid of that. Um, I have this blue which is not like a regular blue, it's like a little bit of like a like a random color of blue so I'm gonna try this one on. Um, I have a cream one which is kind of like a basic but at the same time I feel like I have other cream ones like I have this knit one that I really really like I have this one that has this um, detail on it which is so cute okay so these are the two green ones that I have that are kind of similar but they're different and I think I'm gonna keep this one because it has less blue in it and I feel like the one that has a little bit more blue is the one that I usually don't wear so I'm gonna get rid of that um, I have this knit one that I love that has this like giant pom-pom I think it's so cute um, and then I also have this kind of similar colored beret which I don't think I actually wear very often so I'm gonna get rid of that this one kind of looks like the Burberry pattern but it's not it's like a um i don't know how to actually pronounce this brand lush karen look Ron. i'll write it on the screen i never know how to pronounce it i think it's so cute it's the same brand as the other pattern with the pom-pom that i showed you i have this light pink colored one which i think is really pretty but i actually never wear this color so i think i'm gonna get rid of that so i'm gonna try this on um i have a mustard yellow but i don't really like wearing mustard so i'm gonna be getting rid of that i have these two red berets which i think are so cute and i do love red so i am gonna be keeping those um and then i have this little bonnet hat looks like this it's like a leopard print one and i think it's so cute so it's more of like a detail it doesn't really keep me warm like at all it's just more of decorative than anything to be honest um, and then I also have this leopard print one which I don't really wear I'm not a big leopard print person so I don't know if I'm gonna hang on to this I think I'm gonna try this on then I have this purple one which I mentioned this in one of my other decluttering videos because I had some gloves that were this color so I feel like it's kind of like an unusual color so I am going to hang on to it um, and then here I have a camel colored one which I feel like is kind of a classic but then again I also have this kind of camel one I don't know, I feel like this one will actually wear. I have this really nice blue shade that I think is like a really interesting color. And then I have this um, black one that says coach on it. Okay, so those are all of my berets. I do have these five to try on, so let's see. Okay, it's not perfect. Like it has this kind of flowery detailing here that I think looks really nice. I feel like it just makes it look a little bit more special. So I think I am going to be keeping this one. Sorry, this lighting is like not very good, but like, what do you guys think? It's cute, but I do have other like vintage blue hats. So I'm gonna be getting rid of that. It's kind of a classic, but I do have the other ones. So I'm gonna be getting rid of that. What do you guys think? Should I keep it? Should I get rid of it? Okay, this has got to go. So I feel like I made some pretty good progress. I only have this pile now, which still seems excessive, but it's a lot better than it was. 
Okay, then I have five of these little bonnet things. So these are the ones that go like over your ears like this. These are probably my favorite or like my go-to hats whenever it's cold. I think they are so cute. So I have it in this kind of maroon color. I have a more of like a cherry red. I have this taupey color that matches everything. I have a cream one. And then I have this one that's cream and it has this rose on it. This is my absolute favorite. I think it's stunning. I have three other hats. I have this green one that has matching scarves to it. I showed this recently in a haul. Um, then I have this little bonnet that looks like this. It's like very similar to that other, like this hat. It's really cute. And then I have this one that's like a 1920s looking hat. I put this in the same haul as this hat. And I have three of these kind of scars that have the little leaf thingy at the end that I think are so cute. This one's really small. Then I have this one that's a little bit more oversized. And then I have this one in like a taupe kind of color. Um, these are the matching scarves to that one hat that I just showed you. Um, okay, and then I have three of these kind of scarves. So I have a green and white one. I have a bright red and white, and then I have a maroon one. I feel like the maroon one I wear all the time, so I am gonna be keeping that one. I'm gonna be getting rid of this red and white one. And then I don't know if I should get rid of this green and white, or should I keep it? It's kind of cute. Maybe I'll keep it for a little bit longer. And I also have one of these little knit collars that looks like this. I think this is stunning over like a coat if you want to add a little bit of detail or something. These are my current favorite type of scarves. So they're like really small and knit. So you can kind of see the little knit there. They're really tiny. I have this one and then I also have it in red. I've been really into like any type of scarf that looks homemade, kind of like this one too. And then the last thing that is in here are these bigger scarves. So I have this red one that's really, really pretty. Belonged to my grandma, so I'm gonna be keeping this one. This white one that is like super old. It's like all like, has like all this pilling on it and everything, but it's really warm. And it's kind of like one of like my go-tos if it's like really, really, really cold outside. I have a black scarf that I actually never wear. This one is Moschino, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it. Um, I have this really pretty baby pink one. It's YSL. So I always feel like I don't wear it, but I don't wanna get rid of it only because it is YSL. And then I have these three classic. Again, it's that same brand that long shirt. Charon, Lock, Karen, Lock, Caron scarves. So I have this one, it's like the classic red. And then I have this one that's purple and it actually matches that hat that I showed you earlier. Um, and then I have this classic one that has the blue, red, green, this kind of pattern. Um, and then last but not least, I have this scarf, which is green and blue and black. It's like a very classic plaid pattern. That is everything that is inside this ottoman. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I got so tired. I'm just gonna put everything back that I am keeping back in here and then I think I'm just gonna call it a day. So thank you so much for hanging out with me while I declutter as well as being with me when I was decluttering in the past few videos as well. If you haven't seen any of those decluttering videos, I'm gonna be linking them down in the description box. Um, but yeah, okay, I'm gonna go get a coffee. I'm about to fall asleep. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.